Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Just for change today, it is pissing down with rain. Um, so I thought, well, take this opportunity. I'm going to uh, polish up this. Now this is the Gamo SAT trigger system. Um, SAT, the smooth action triggers, they're all plastic. This is the smooth one, the custom action triggers, the, the, like the grey style with the hot holes in it. Um, can't operate it because the bear trap's not pulled out. End of day, these are mass produced. Everything's just stamped out of a sheet of metal, so they've got burrs and edges and scratches and stuff on them. So we're going to take this apart, polish it up best as we can, grease it, put it back together, and then I'll just pop in the little long screw. Now the reason I've got this is I was doing a modification on the big cat, um, trying to fit a double spring kit, and I had to cut a piece of the trigger that was in it. Um, turns out the bloke eventually got back to me on the emails, and he'd sent me the wrong kit, so <laughs> a new kit is on its way. But anyway, so I've got this because I wanted the long plastic piece. But uh, I thought I'll polish this up and this one will go in the uh, Gamo Hunter when I take that apart. So this is all polished up, ready to go now. Um, they're all pretty much the same generic things. Um, so we'll take it apart and see what we can come up with. They're quite straightforward to take apart these triggers. Um, if you're a little bit worried, just take a lot of pictures before you take it apart, just so that you know where the springs go. So first up, we're just gonna pop this spring out and get the bear trap out. The bear trap stops the trigger operating while you're, while you're cocking the gun. So we'll get that one out of the way. Now we're going to take these two screws out and just take this cover off. And then we'll seal the insides. Here we go, we've got the, the sear and the, and the trigger lever. As again, take plenty of pictures if you're not sure. I mean, I've taken this apart. I, I took the other one apart on the big cat a while ago. So I have got a lot of pictures, but I do remember how it comes apart. And we're gonna get it apart. And these two pieces, we're gonna polish up. You'll notice on these two pieces when you get them out, they've got sort of fairly rough edges, sort of scratch marks on them. And those are the marks we want to polish out. So I'm going to get some wet and dry. I'm not sure what grade it is. And we're just going to polish out the edges. Now we're going to polish up the, the sides as well, where they mate up to the, the trigger housing and you know they go through, the, uh, the pins go through them, so that all the surfaces are polished and as smooth as they can be but you don't want to alter the profile of where the uh, where the sear hooks into the piston. 
You want to keep that as, as the same profile, just smooth it off so that it feels like glass. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As long as you don't take the profiles off of any edges, mating surfaces, right angles or anything like that, just polish out the marks, get it nice and smooth, and then we're going to pop it back together. I'm going to pop some grease on it. Uh, it's not the lithium dye, money bending them, whatever grease it is. It's just some regular, it's, it's mechanics grease, but uh, it's not, not the stuff that everybody uses. But, uh, it'll do the job.
So if you've taken the pictures, now you'll know how the springs go back together. And it's quite straightforward, really. So the last little thing I'm gonna do is just change this screw in the back. Now this adjusts the first stage of the trigger. Now the original gamo screw is quite short and you can only get so far. I've done a video on this before, so if you wanna check that out, go back over my videos and you'll see where I did the uh, the sat trigger improvements. Basically, it's just a longer screw that goes in, which gives it a, a better first stage. But you wanna be really careful that you don't go too far and you'll end up with a hair trigger, which is you don't want a hair trigger because that makes the gun quite dangerous. So I always use a bit of thread lock and that's pretty much it for that. So that is how I polish up the trigger on the Gamo Sat Trigger, SAT, smooth action. So it is really smooth now. It's all greased up, polished up. That's ready to go back in the gun. Now when I take the Gamo Hunter apart, I will put this one back in its place and then I shall, the one that comes out of the Hunter, I'll polish that up and it can just sit on the side if I ever need it for whatever reason. But the, they're mass produced guns. There is a bit of quality control, but things like this, it's as long as it works, that they go out of the factory, basically. Uh, so just a little bit of polishing makes all the difference. And that's it, it's done. So there will be some more Gamo videos coming up where I'm messing about with a big cat and then I will be taking the Hunter apart and sorting that out as well. And there's a few more other videos coming up in the pipeline when the weather clears up. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.